Now, Roshan before said about be clear and clarity, and I would absolutely agree, because the most important thing a leader has to do is to direct and inspire. In fact, if you think about it, that's all a leader needs to do. They need to give clear direction and inspiration. But if they only do one of those things, it's no good. If you've had leaders that are very clear on direction, you know exactly what to do, but you don't feel very excited or motivated at all that it's going to be life-changing or purposeful work. If you have a leader that's inspirational and energizes you, you feel incredible about doing your work, but you haven't got a clue what work it is you're supposed to do. So the answer is to direct and inspire. And the great leaders, what do they do? They alter that balance between direct and inspire thousands of times every single day. Probably dozens of times in every conversation. They read the terrain, they know their staff, they know the situation, and they're incredibly situational about their response. So direct and inspire. And the only way we direct and inspire, by the way, is through conversation. And if you want to know what leaders all around the world find most difficult to do, it is having difficult conversations, because it's hard. What do followers get most frustrated about from their leaders? They never have difficult conversations. They never tackle performance issues. They never do those things. They always have their favorites. They never challenge different behaviors. So conversations. And I think about the work that we do all over the world, and it sounds very simple, but the one thing that we teach leaders to do is to have conversations, quality conversations.